Welcome to the Master Circle Podcast. I'm Dr. Bob Hoffman, and each week we'll be bringing you the freshest, most cutting-edge information in chiropractic, wellness, personal growth, and success. All the systems, strategies, and philosophies you need to grow your practice and life can be found in these podcasts. Follow the links below to learn more about the Master Circle and everything we have to offer you. Please enjoy this podcast edition, and let's keep growing together. The number one issue that you face in your life that can hold you hostage, confusion. The greatest thing you wrestle with every day of your life is confusion. And you have to understand what confusion is. Confusion is standing at an intersection where your foundation of self-worth is not strong enough to let you step through without uncertainty. Now, confusion is powerful because in and of itself, it has a pathway that it travels. And if you don't remember anything that I talk about in my brief time with you, you cannot forget this. Because confusion creates conflict. Conflict is critical. Because conflict is when two people come together with a personal agenda and neither one can find a common agenda that will get them through that. Conflict then leads to frustrations. And when you and I become frustrated, what happens? Our imagination shuts down and our emotions take over. And how dangerous are you when you're emotionally charged? But it doesn't stop there, because frustrations then create disappointments. And disappointments are critical, because disappointments shut down our imagination. Disappointments make you look at what isn't rather than what can be. But the most dangerous concept of confusion is the last step. Because after disappointment comes the open door to anger. Because when a human becomes disappointed, the result of that disappointment is their anger. And anger someday, someplace, somehow, we'll talk about this, but anger has eight faces to it. And anger is the most deadly emotion you ever deal with because anger is about destroying someone else and in the process, destroying yourself. We're going to deal with confusion. I've got to talk to you about presence. I think the greatest statement that can ever be said about another human is that you have a presence that is present when you're not present. It's the greatest statement of respect that can ever be said about a person. That you have a presence that is present when you're not present. If you study the aura of most people, most people are designed to be forgotten. You've done that. You ever had somebody introduce themselves to you and you wiped them out of your mind where they were standing in front of you? You ever had somebody you couldn't wait to get away from? Why? Because their presence wasn't captivating. And when you are in the presence of a human who is captivating, that human will live within you years after you first met them. That's presence. I've got to talk to you about behavior. People who know me know that for 38 years of my life, 365 days a year, Every morning when I get out of bed, I write a philosophy that governs my life for one day. I think what you put in your head in the morning creates the day you're going to have. You ever had a day you got up and you were running late? You didn't have time to prepare for your day? You make it down to your practice, you open the door, and first person looks at you goes, we got a problem. And right there, emotionally, you get sucked into your day. And have you ever had a day that just emotionally sucked you dry? That's a lot of philosophies for 38 years, 365 days a year. The most powerful philosophy that I've ever written only has three words to it. Behavior never lies. Behavior never lies. The essence of any human is not what they say. The essence of any human is what they do. Because truth is not defined by words. Truth is defined... By behavior. And the thing that's so critically important is that it is impossible for behavior to lie. 
And today, I want to talk to you about confusion. I want to talk to you about presence. I want to talk to you about behavior. And I'm not here for you to like me. I am here to challenge you. One of the things I learned years ago when I was running a private counseling center, most people want honesty as long as it's not honest. I mean, have you ever had somebody come to you and look at you and go, now be honest with me. And you thought, really? <laughs> I have been praying for this day. So you, you hand them honesty and what's their response? Not that honest. I mean, you think about this in your own life. Do you always want everyone in your life to be totally honest with you? Do you think most people in your life are totally honest with you? Those of you who are CAs, you ever had the doctor come and ask you a question and you went, and have you ever answered what you thought they wanted to hear, not what you were really feeling? Because can anything in life improve without honesty? No. And our theme today is achieving a millionaire's mindset. And I'm not here to talk about money. Because a millionaire is not someone who has a million dollars. A millionaire is someone who feels like a million dollars. And everything we're going to talk about is going to be guided by one thought. Truly successful people. Now, you always have to pay attention to my words. Because my construction of sentences are critically important. Truly successful people. Not just successful people. There are successful people. And what's the difference between the two of them? Successful people have to tell you how successful they are. Truly successful people don't tell you because it's a demonstration. Now, you need to understand something about success. Success is not magic. You understand what magic is? It's an illusion that you watch. And when it's over, you still haven't figured it out. Success is not magic. But success is magical. And truly successful people, and people ask me, how do you know what a truly successful person looks like? Truly successful people have three things to their life that separate them from everyone else. They have a sense of happiness. Because I'm going to tell you, when you've got success in here, there is a joy that goes with it that nothing can take away from you. I could buy almost anything I want to buy in life. But you know what's interesting? Things don't make you happy because things will go away. The true success is that inner feeling of joy and happiness that goes with you. That every day creates an element of passion that separates you from other people. How many people do you know who every day get up, go to work, and prostitute themselves for a paycheck? Because they're not happy. It's just the job. And you can tell it in their aura. You can tell it in their presence. You can tell it in their behavior. You can tell it in the confusion in their life. But truly successful people have that inner passion. They also have a sense of fulfillment. That no matter what happens in their day, that day has a sense of fulfillment to it. You ever finished today, ended the day and looked at yourself and couldn't figure out what you'd achieved that day? That day had no fulfillment. But when you can end a day and you know that your presence brought value, you know that you offered a sense of clarity, not confusion. You know that your behavior reached out and touched people in a way that very few people ever get to touch them. That's fulfillment. Truly successful people also have freedom. Number one philosophy for my life. Why spend my energy being a carbon copy when I'm the original? Why spend my energy being a carbon copy when I'm the original? Folks, I throw parties and I'm the only one I invite. God, they're great parties. You should hear the conversations. If you threw a party and only invited you, would you go? How long would you stay before you got bored? Truly successful people have that sense of presence in their life that they're free to be who they are. And they don't get up every day and become an actor in someone else's play. Because every day that you live as an actor in someone else's play, you have to give up your originality. And the thing that God wants for you more than anything is for you to be the original he created you to be. So that every day your presence brings value so you can make a difference in the lives of people. Truly successful people are not unique. 
Truly successful people are not unique. You know how many times I hear this? Man, they're lucky. Do you know what luck is? It's jealousy. You know what luck is psychologically? It's envy. It's looking at someone, seeing who they are, knowing that you're not committed to being there. And so you make them lucky. Truly successful people are not unique. What do they have? They have the internal strength. And what is that internal strength? It's a willingness to adapt. What is that internal strength? It is a willingness to challenge themselves. What is that internal strength? It's the willingness to stand in the midst of sameness and offer a presence that is different. That's internal strength. Truly successful people are not unique. They just have the internal strength to what? To practice the consistent persistency. How rare is that? That what? Allows them to have the persistent consistency necessary to move beyond where average people stop. I believe that most people commit their life to be an average, but talk about wanting to be successful. Now watch this because it's important. Being average is not bad. But look at the next word. If. That's all you want to be. Being average is not bad, folks, if that's all you want to be. But if all you want to be is average, stop talking about being successful because average people can't obtain success. Being average is not bad. If all you want to be is average every day, pause and commit yourself to sameness because average people live in a world of repetitive behavior designed to repeat, not improve. Being average is not bad if that's all you want to be. If it is, then staying average is an abuse of what? Your life. It's abuse of what? Your gifts. Do you think God created anyone without talent? No. Do you think we're to be a steward of our talents? Yes. But yet the majority of people every day talk about their desire to improve, but design their life with behavior to stay the same. You think if I came in your world, I spent a day in your life, I'd find any places where you could improve? If we sat and we talked about them, do you think it'd come as a surprise? No, but you could have reasons why you haven't arrived yet, correct? You'd have justifications. You'd have people to blame. You'd have excuses. Because average people excuse, justify, and blame. Average people live in a world of problems. I don't believe in problems. You know what I think a problem is? It's a situation or event that a human chooses to hang on to so that they have an excuse or a reason to justify why they're not getting any better. You know what? You hang out with people who have problems, you get absorbed in their problems. You can't help people who have problems because problem people are looking for sympathy or agreement, not direction for growth. And you hang with them and they're emotionally going to affect you. If what you say you want is contradicted by what you do, then you're lying to yourself and to every person you've said it to. Is that truth? Question, are you designed today in your life for improvement or for continuation? When you look at your relationship at home, is it one of confusion or clarity? If you look at your relationships at work, are they confusion or clarity? Do you have a presence that is present when you're not present? Or is that something you need to achieve in order to strengthen the clarity in and around your life? Because the reality is back to the statement. Every day you make a choice. I'm going to feed the confusion in my life. Or I'm going to strengthen the clarity. Which are you better at? You know the answer, don't you? Food for thought. Thanks for letting me play in your hand. 
Thank you for listening to this episode of the Master Circle Podcast. Many of our podcast listeners ask about the source of these shows. Well, they come from seminars, teleclasses, interviews, and audio albums, many of which are available for purchase at the Master Circle Marketplace. Just go to www.themastercircle.net and look through our vast library of useful, practical, and inspiring audio materials. And if you'd like to attend one of our live seminars, just call us at 800-451-4514, and we'll be happy to register you. It's a pleasure to serve you and keep growing yourself and growing your practice.